Hello guys, this video here is going to show you what happens to your graphics card if you push it a bit too far while you're trying to overclock it. So the first test here is going to be what happens if you push the GPU core clock too far for the graphics card to handle. Also in both of the tests I'm going to be applying the maximum amount of voltage that uh, ASUS's GPU tweak can apply to my graphics card but keep in mind that 1.225 or 1.25 is about the maximum that you want to apply to these graphic cards for a 24-7 overclock. So I just launched MSI Combustor which is a GPU stress testing program and as you can see here the entire um, MSI figure has completely froze. Everything on the screen has frozen except the mouse cursor but this signifies that the core clock is too high. As you're going to see in the bottom right of the screen that the driver has crashed and basically it automatically reboots itself normally so you can continue to use your computer without restarting itself and basically what happens is the graphics card will revert itself back to stock speeds. So this will give you an idea of what happens when you overclock your graphics card pretty much specifically to the point of the core clock being the previous test. So that's what happens when the core clock is too high. Now let's see what happens when the memory clock is too high and also I'm going to apply the max voltage even though voltage really doesn't play much of a factor when it comes to overclocking your memory. Your memory is just going to overclock to the highest that it can regardless of whatever voltage that you apply to it. But keep in mind that you don't want to apply more than 1.25. Then really the max that you can apply safely is 1.3, but 1.3 is you really need to um, introduce very good cool into the, the graphics card. So let's see what happens if the memory is too high. And this is just pretty much an artifact. Your screen is completely a shade of color. This in this in this demonstration right here, it's gray. Your computer is still functional, but the graphics card has completely failed to work. It's not going to reboot itself. It's not going to um, attempt to fix itself and come back like a core crash. This requires that your computer needs to be fully rebooted for you to use your computer again. So this is exactly what happens when you overclock your memory. And this is for Radeon cards. I'm not sure how the NVIDIA GPU will react to this. But this will hopefully give you an idea of when you're overclocking your card, um, what do you have set too high. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Later.